Hey guys, so I thought I would show you guys how to make these super cute heart elbow patches and I actually got this idea from a blog so I'm going to link the blog in the description box for you guys so you guys can go look at that and I am going to be needle felting the patches on so I'm going to show you guys how to go about doing that. You're going to need a cardigan, I just picked this one up from Forever 21 and some tape. You're also going to need a block of foam or a sponge and a felting needle. These are special because they have little grooves on the needle and this is what is going to catch all of the fibers. And you're going to need wool roving. Make sure it's 100% wool. You're going to need a heart shaped cookie cutter and just make sure it's big enough to fit the palm of your hand. And lastly, you're just going to need an iron. So you're going to start off by trying to figure out where you want your elbow patch to start and so you're just going to try on your sweater, bend your elbow and maybe half an inch below where the point of your elbow is, you're going to stick the piece of tape and that is going to mark where the patch is going to start. Now you're just going to take your block of foam or your sponge and you are going to stick this up the sleeve and you're going to place it just above where the tape is and this is going to act as a barrier so the fibers don't get to the other side of the sleeve. just above the tape and make sure the foam underneath is covering the whole heart shape. So now you're going to take your wool roving and I am just going to use this burgundy color. I am going to tease it apart and then I'm going to stick it inside of the cookie cutter and then we can start needle felting. have enough wool to cover the entire heart shape and now we are going to start needle felting. So you're going to take your needle and remember what I was saying earlier about the, the ridges in the needle? These are what the fibers are going to latch onto. So when you press down, it's basically going to knit itself to the sleeve. stabbing the wool into the sleeve and as you can see the heart shape is starting to form and the fibers are going into the sweater and when you're doing this make sure you're going vertical never go diagonal because these needles break very easily and if you want to check your progress you can see how you're doing so far we still have a little bit more work to do to get the shape perfect so I'm going to stick the cookie cutter back on and keep needle felting. If you happen to get any gaps, which will most likely happen around the outer edges, you can always take more wool and place it where you need it and then just start needle felting again. satisfied with your heart shape, then you can go ahead and carefully turn your sleeve inside out. So now we're just going to remove the foam or the sponge and this is a little bit tricky because it's tough to pull off, so you just want to be careful and pull it straight off. Try not to pull it off at an angle. 
um, just because the fibers are still stuck inside of the foam. So it's going to be a bit tricky, but keep at it and it will come up eventually, I promise. off now you can see all of the fibers still stuck in the sponge and this is what the inside of your sleeve is going to look like all of the fibers have been pushed to the other side and that is what's going to make your patch stay now you can go ahead and turn your sleeve right side out and we are going to get ready to iron on our patch take your iron and spritz some water on it and you're just going to iron it out and this is what is going to set the elbow patch. Now you can go ahead and set the other patch and once you've got both patches set you are ready to wear your super cute, adorable Valentine's Day inspired sweater. And I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick tutorial. It is so easy to do. And if you guys try this out for yourselves, please send me a picture. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and please try it out. I think you guys will have a lot of fun with this. And this is Ferris here being a total pain in the butt. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!